Okay, I'm back in the city. I got some changes going on, added some modulars, trying to figure out their layout. Welcome to Build from Bricks, I'm Brian and I have another city update for you. This is Brick Island 2.0, you may have seen the previous episodes, if not, check them out. But here I have some modular buildings and I'm trying to decide on the layout. Maybe I'll take some advice from you. I'm hoping to get this situated so I can then start building the roads down here. But I do have some of the modules here, the Parisian restaurant, I know I have the brick bank over here going down a side street, as well as the assembly square. And then over on the corner is the posh shop. It, was, it, it said shop, I changed it to posh. Just trying to be different. I might even change the name eventually to something else, not sure about that yet. Once I get these road layouts figured out, the next step is combining it to the lower level by means of stairs. So the edge here, we have an open gap right now and you may see some train tracks below. There will be a subway stop in that in an area down there so you can see a little train coming by the subway as it cruises around the city underneath. I did mention the tracks in a previous episode. I do need to figure out this first, build a boardwalk. As you may remember in my earlier city I had a nice boardwalk here where people could stroll and in this case we have the shops up here and then we'll have beach area down below. I'm in the second section of Brick Island and over here I have a couple of buildings and this is kind of the shadier side of town up here. We do have a pizza shop here which is from the Sanctum Sanctorum. I do need to build, I have another one of these sets and I'm going to have it face the other direction. So you can have two buildings that are they're kind of similar but it kind of fits in this area. And then next to us I have the pool hall and what's that, the barber shop down there below. And in front of it, we have all of the Ninjago, the Ninjago City docks, as well as Ninjago City. And the whole purpose of the city in this elevated section was that this butts up right against this level, and you can walk off the street sidewalk here onto the Ninjago City, and then do your shopping, go to the comic book shop. And now, in the city docks, there's some other cool places. There's a sushi restaurant, and there's a vendor at the docks down there. There'll be an area for boats to come in. Here's what I'm talking about. You can see the backside of the Ninjago City and the walkway to get onto the shops is right here where you have this little guy standing here with an umbrella for some reason or girl, I can't tell who that is. But it's the same height as the city upper level and it's a perfect way to get from the lower part of Brick Island to the upper part of Brick Island for any pedestrian that's interested. That was the latest addition to Brick Island 2.0. There's a lot going on here, a lot of decisions to be made, walls to be built, roads to be placed, so much stuff. I gotta think of how I wanna do it. This is just a preliminary of how the buildings are laid out. I may change it. I'm not sure yet. But you need to stay tuned for more episodes and see what happens at Brick Island. And in the comments, let me know what you think. Any ideas, thoughts? I may incorporate them and give you credit for it. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and Twitter at Built From Bricks, as well as our monthly live stream. We will announce those ahead of time, a week ahead of time, so you can see us live and interact with us, which I love doing with all you guys. Thanks for watching. What have you built today?